Hello again, a uh, new location for True Family Travel. So we are going to, yeah, we have gone to Goa and uh, we have actually spent already two days here. So uh, we just relaxed after of the, of the more intense part of the journey with uh, Delhi, uh, Agra, uh, Varanasi, then down to, to Goa. So. We have just spent a few days relaxing here and uh, now we're back with some more videos and uh, we are at uh, Palolan Beach, uh, the, the pearl I think of South Goa and we, here we have the iconic uh, painted shark, uh, rock as a shark and uh, yeah, uh, we hired a um, a kayak here so <clears throat> me and my wife uh, uh, hired a kayak for like 30 minutes just to give it a try we have done some kayaking before in Sweden so not not a big deal uh, but that's why I'm wearing the life jacket and uh, yes uh, the plans for for Goa in general is not decided yet uh, the main uh, reason we are here is because we want to uh, relax and uh, have a bit of vacation and uh, not go to very many beaches and so on, but just to have an actual vacation. Uh, since we are not real, like vloggers trying to live <laughs> on our YouTube videos, then, uh, then this is how we do it. We don't uh, need to cram all in all that uh, much of content just because we want to push up videos we are taking it in our own pace and uh, enjoying ourselves in the meantime so um, <clears throat> yeah one of the things uh, i like about palolem is that everything is really concentrated here uh, we came here on uh, christmas day and there was a lot more crowd here and uh, Today it's it's uh, quite calm actually. However, the the bad thing about coming here is, at this time is that it's the peak season and everything is much more expensive than it uh, usually is. So uh, we have been paying six thousand rupees for our hotel here, and uh, we talked to some other hotels and uh, they all have like prices between five and six thousand per night. Uh, after New Year's Eve, uh, prices drop almost like half. So after New Year's Eve, uh, at this beach at least, the prices are like uh, 3,000. So yeah, uh, since we don't have any plans yet, uh, yeah, we'll just have to, to uh, take every day as it comes. And uh, we'll see what we will uh, do here. Uh, we have some things in mind, we'll see what we'll do. Uh, so, I think now we are going to head out uh, in the kayak again uh, and I will give you some shots from the beach outside in the water. So, uh, and also the, I don't know if I said it, but the kayak uh, was uh, priced at 200 rupees for 30 minutes. So, uh, quite a good price, I think. So, see you out on the ocean, on the Arabic Sea, uh, very soon. So, I need to slow. Say after you. Here we are <laughs> outside the Palula Beach, or uh, almost just in front of it, uh, on the right side, uh, northern side. And uh, yeah, uh, we have taken ourselves out here. And also, the, the fun thing about kayaking here is that there are apparently dolphins quite near the beach. So, uh, if you paddle out a bit, then you have a good chance of seeing dolphins. And uh, the guy told us that uh, if you see those tour boats, if they are stopped somewhere else, somewhere in the, in the middle of the ocean, then it's a sign that there are uh, dolphins there. So that's a tip if you're going here. And also there is uh, the Ganesh Kayaks uh, phone number if you want to get in touch with them. Uh, they are located just outside the place where we live. Uh, Brandon, the cool place, I think it's called. So, uh, Madde, if you can uh, direct us to uh, the, in the direction of 
our hotel, then we will check Mada's panting skills. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I like it here. Maybe I should just have bought a couple of beers and uh, let Mada do the paddling. So, uh, yeah, as you see here, the um, the uh, scenery here is very beautiful and um, yeah, as close as you can come to paradise in, in this part, uh, at least. Uh, I know that Kerala is also very beautiful and uh, we had plans to go there, but as I said before, uh, we don't want to go to too many places. We want to also have vacation and uh, traveling is taking a lot of time. Uh, changing hotels and so on so yeah um, there will be more times to right yeah explore uh, the different parts here um, so I think uh, this is it for the paddling tour uh, let's see what happens next we're back at our cabin and uh, yeah we had a quite funny entry to the beach after we had the kayak for for paddling into our hotel and we were trying to surf the wave uh, and I'm I'm so uh, sorry we couldn't film it because it was really funny we uh, tried to surf uh, the waves because the waves here are quite big uh, sometimes it goes in cycles I guess but we were trying to surf the wave uh, the one of the bigger waves uh, in and we got on the wrong way and we uh, capsized on uh, on the way in so yeah it was quite funny but <laughs> nevertheless uh, I actually got I'm a big beer fan so uh, I actually found my first IPA beer here in India so uh, so it wasn't cheap but it was like 135 rupees so uh, yeah uh, there is a liquor shop up on the road here uh, probably not the cheapest prices because it's close to the beach where everybody lives so I think they will uh, up the prices a bit uh, however the uh, the uh, IPA from uh, Red Rhino is uh, really good so the sun says oh yeah this is our cabin right here and um, I would love to show you, show you inside, but uh, there is a power outage right now. So it seems to be quite a common thing, common thing here in, uh, in Goa. Uh, the power uh, runs out quite often. Um, I think this is the third time today. And also when you are waiting for breakfast or something, it's really annoying because they can't make any juices, they can't cook any food and uh, yeah, they seem to have some some type of backup plan because uh, they are at least playing music here Hello! So I will just uh, show you the place where we live As I said before, it's uh, 6,000 a night and uh, it's called uh, Brandon, the cool place, bar, restaurant, and guest house, and it's uh, quite quite nice actually. Uh, now we missed the sun. I was about to show you the sunset, but I think we can see the sun going down behind this island here. Let's see if we can get a better shot. So, uh, this is, we will move like 100 meters tomorrow and uh, the move will not be as drastic as, as before. Uh, from Varanasi to Goa it was. Flight from Varanasi to Mumbai and then Mumbai to Goa and then taxi for two hours or something like that. The taxi from from, uh, from the airport in Goa uh, was uh, 2,100 uh, rupees 
uh, at the prepaid taxi counter uh, at the airport. So now we have a good view of the sunset here between the island and the and the, sh and the shore over here. Um, the shore uh, to the right of the sun is where we uh, paddled before, and it's really beautiful. Quite the sight. So this is where we will move tomorrow. Sai Valentine's Resort. I think we, yeah, we will be staying in that cabin uh, right there, uh, right on the beach, with a with a kind of not hammock. I don't know what the name is called in English. Hängmatta in Swedish. Um, but I think it it will be too hot to 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 lay in that. And uh, also now we are at the northern part of the Palolan beach. And uh, I can show you the other direction, uh, which is the larger part of the beach. It's uh, not as crowded as yesterday and the day before. But I think that after the New Year's uh, Eve or the beginning of January, it will be a lot, a lot less crowded here. So. This is also quite cool, uh, the fishing boats. Um, there is no... It's not that commercialized here as it is in the different parts of Europe, for example, when you go on vacation. Uh, the fishing boats are still active. Um, and I, I like that a lot. I know that... that uh, they are selling the fish over here and... Um, Hopefully we'll go there some of these nights we have here and uh, check out the fish market and uh, see what kind of fish they catch here. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't think anything much else is happening tonight. So, uh, if we do something, then we will shoot it. Otherwise, it's uh, the last entry for today.